Hi, I'm Aaron Crawford again with Brower Mechanical, your energy solutions experts. And today, I want to talk to you about solar hot water. Not for your pool, but actually for your domestic usage, like when you're taking showers, doing the laundry, doing the dishes, things like that. One of the benefits of solar hot water is, is it provides up to 80% of your total domestic usage annually. Think about that. 80% of all the hot water you use, solar hot water can take care of that for you. It's less dependent on your local utility companies. Over the last 30 years, our utility rates have hiked up to about 6.5% annually. So this is a great way for us to become more independent from our utility companies. One of the benefits too is it's very, very, extremely simple to install. In fact, I have a panel right here that you can see. This is actually what goes up on your roof. When you think about how many panels you need uh, for solar hot water, you only need one to two of these panels. It only takes up about 40 to 50 square feet of your roof space. If you compare that to solar electric, that can take upwards of 400 to even 500 square feet of your roof space. So very simple install. In fact, most installations can only take a day, maybe two days. So you're really going to be able to use that solar hot water sooner than later. It adds more value to your home. We're doing the green thing. We're making your house more efficient, adding that increased value to your home, making your home more appealing, more comfortable. And one of the great things about solar hot water is there's a lot of different incentives out there. We have local rebates and also federal tax incentives to really get that initial cost down to make it more affordable for you and your family. So let me talk a little bit about how does it work? How does the system actually work? So like I said, it's a pretty easy concept. You have what we call our solar collector or solar panel that goes up on your roof. And then you have what's called a storage tank. Now the storage tank is what provides the actual hot water that goes into our home, okay? Now a lot of people think that you actually pump water up onto the roof. Well, you don't. And the reason why is if it gets really, really cold outside, you, it, you have that risk of freezing. So it's not water that's being pumped up to the roof. It's actually a substance called glycol. I like to call it just a simple word like antifreeze. So we pump that antifreeze up into the collectors up onto the roof that absorbs all that sun's energy. That antifreeze then gets pumped back down into the tank and spins around into your tank, kind of acting like a heat exchanger, and it really warms up the water inside that tank. It can get very, very hot, and the reason why we want it to get hot is because when that sun goes down, well, we have no more solar energy. So we're able, going to be able to maintain that temperature even when the sun goes down. Now one thing that you do have is you have what's called a heating element. So if it ever gets below the desired temperature, that heating element will kick on and maintain that temperature to you. Now one way you can really maximize the efficiency of your, of your solar hot water system is instead of this water going directly into your home, is it can go into what we call an, auxil an auxiliary tank. Now auxiliary tank can be the same tank that you have right now, like a gas water heater. So it goes into this tank and then back out to your home and that eliminates that heating element 100%. And that's the best way to maximize the efficiency of your solar hot water system. That's how we get 80% of your total annual usage. So this is a little bit about solar hot water. We'd love the opportunity to talk to, uh, talk to you about the benefits in person. If you have any questions about solar hot water, you can call our energy showroom at 624-0808. My name's Aaron, again, with Brower Mechanical, and I thank you for your time.